previous video we have seen what is complex number what is the argument of complex number and what is polar form of complex number and how to represent a complex number in polar form that also we have seen in the last session today we are going to see one of the important theorem in complex number and that is de Morbius theorem as you can see on the screen de Morbius theorem states that if z is r into bracket cos theta plus i sin theta where r is the modulus and theta is the argument of complex number then for any rational number n z raised to n is r raised to n into cos n theta plus i sin n theta okay here Euler's formula also states that z is equal to cos theta plus i sin theta which is nothing but e raised to i theta de Morbis theorem is essential in various branches of mathematics and physics including complex analysis signal processing and quantum mechanics i will show you here one example of a comp de Morbis theorem suppose z is equal to 2 into bracket cos pi plus i sin pi then z raised to phi u equal to 2 raised to phi u into bracket cos pi plus i sin pi raised to phi u now applying de Morbius theorem we get here 2 raised to phi cos phi u pi plus i sin phi u pi so in this manner we can use de Morbius theorem so i have shown you how to use the de Morbius theorem so let us see some examples of de Morbius theorem in the first example if you can see here then evaluate 1 plus i raised to 1000 you can see clearly 1 plus i is the complex number first we have to convert it into polar form so how to convert it into polar form find out r what is r so you can see under root of 1 square plus 1 square which is equal to root 2 then theta tan inverse 1 upon i 1 upon 1 that is tan inverse 1 that is pi by 4 so we get the polar form of 1 plus i as root 2 into bracket cos pi by 4 plus i sin pi by 4 and that's why z raised to 1000 will be root 2 into bracket cos pi by 4 plus i sin pi by 4 raised to 1000 now applying de Morbis theorem which i have shown you will be 2 raised 2 raised to 1000 uh, sorry root 2 raised to 1000 into bracket cos 1000 pi by 4 plus i sin 1000 pi by 4 so that will be root 2 raised to 1000 into bracket now the value of cos 1000 pi by 4 is 1 and the value of sin 1000 pi by 4 is 0 so you get 1 plus i into 0 and so finally you get root 2 raised to 1000 so root 2 raised to 1000 is the answer of 1 plus i raised to 1000 let's see one more example now here we will see how to find the nth roots of a complex number starting with the second example where we have to find the fifth that is phi u roots or the fifth root of root 3 plus i now let us take the complex number root 3 plus i so r will be naturally root 3 square plus 1 square and that is 2 correct and theta will be tan inverse root 3 1 upon root 3 and which is pi by 6 correct that is 30 degree so what will be the complex form then 2 into bracket cos 30 degree now th to find the fifth root we have to add the angle 360 degree k to find the fifth root so we get 2 into bracket cos 30 degree plus 360 degree into k where k is the natural number a uh, whole number plus i into sine cos 30 degree plus 360 degree k so if we put the values of k 0 1 2 3 4 in this equation we get these phi u roots we get this phi u roots let's see one more example here 
let's let's take this square root of a complex number so i have taken one example of 1 plus i so i have to find the com square root of a complex number 1 plus i so r will be root 2 theta will be pi by 4 so z will be root 2 into bracket cos pi by 4 plus i sin pi by 4 so z raised to half will be root 2 raised to half and cos pi by 4 into half plus i sin pi by 4 into half again another angle will be cos pi plus pi by 4 into 1 by 2 plus i sin pi plus pi by 4 by 1 by 2 now this pi we have got in the pre same as the previous example by 360 de degree divided by 2 that is 180 or pi so we have to add that pi there and we get the two roots here by putting k is equal to 0 and 1 0 and 1 as the previous example so i hope you have understood today what is complex number thank you